What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to show you how. And guys, today, what I'm going to be doing is showing you, like, basically a workaround on the um, NP-37602-8 error code in 2020. And like I said, this is a workaround now, for now. So, yeah, stay tuned for the, uh, the, the rest of this video, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you need to do is go to YouTube on your PlayStation and click on that YouTube app, click start, and just wait till it loads up. You gotta keep it a little interesting for you guys. Okay, so once you're on the YouTube app, what you need to do next is go to your settings. And now you want to do is you want to go down until you see link with TV code. And now copy down the code that you have on your device. Don't use my code because it's not going to work. Use your code that you have. You can either type it on your phone or just write it down somewhere. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so once you have the code down, you want to go to your home screen, your PS4, and now go to your internet browser. You want to go to YouTube.com. Okay. And once you're on this, you want to go ahead and log into your YouTube account on this browser, on the browser. And once you've logged in, what you can do is click um, Options. And go to Open New Window. And now you want to type in YouTube Link TV code and enter now go to this first link at the top right now and go down until you see this right here into the tv code on your computer or basically your ps4 now and then click this youtube.com slash pair okay and now enter that code that you had written down now so i'm going to enter mine And now once you have it down, click add this TV. And just wait until it loads. And you see, it says your TV is paired with your computer, which is basically your PS4 now, of course. And if you reload this page right here, you will be able to see that it's paired. And you see Sony PS4 is paired. Now what you can do, if you're logged in, like I said before, you can, let's say if I type in one of my videos, let me just type in and show you how. And actually it's right here, so, you know. You can go to any video, of course, you know. Simple as that. And it says at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, let me see, let me go in a little bit. It says connected to PS4, if you can see that. Okay. And now if you click play like this, And it loads and you see it's playing at the bottom. Now you can go back to the YouTube app on your PlayStation. Click start. And you see it's playing right now. It was playing. I stopped it the next thing. But it was playing. So if I go back to my internet browser again and restart it back, you know. It will show that it is playing. So what you can do from here is you can simply just go to your history or whatever you want on your account if you're logged in like this. If you want to play it again, what you can do is go on Play on TV and click on Sony PS4 right here. It will be playing as so. And it will be the same as if you were on your original YouTube account on the YouTube app because you see the suggestions are the same. And that's pretty much the first method now let's go to the second method. Okay, so the second method will be to go to YouTube on your phone or your laptop or or any device besides your PS4. And so once you have that open, you need to this. You need to go back to the where it says the code at. Go to your phone. I don't know if you can see this. 
click on your little profile picture at the top on your app and go to settings you see that next then you want to go to watch on TV I don't know if you can see that but click on watch on TV and then enter that same exact code that you have on your PS4 and then you should be able to control it from your any device that you have besides your PS4 but if you don't have another device besides your PS4 then I suggest you use the other method okay, so the first thing for this stuff you need to do is go on your browser or your laptop or your phone or any other device besides your PS4 and go to the little logo at the top of the browser make sure you log into your gmail and now you want to go to manage your google account and now go over to security and then scroll down until you see third-party apps with account access and you see playstation network right here what you want to do is try to just disable that basically tap on manage third-party access and then you're going to tap playstation network and then remove access and click OK. And now, right now, I'm going to go back to the PlayStation. I'm going to show you now what it should say on there. PlayStation, and now I'm going to click Start and go over to YouTube to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so once you're on YouTube, what you can do now is go over to Sign In, press Sign In. And you know, usually when you press the Sign In, right there, it usually gives you an error. But just wait. And you see now it says sign in because before when you just clicked it it said an error but now you can actually press sign in and it will take you to your account and you can log in so you can try this way but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this video helped you guys out for now until it's fully fixed because that's the only fix that i found so far and yeah but make sure you go ahead and drop a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already and turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified for every single video on my channel. But we'll be back to show you how. Me it was never gonna end. I'm at the top, never descend. Calling my name is going. Go to my precise be fluent. Look at the girl, she be front and won't come back till I close some hundreds. Throw the racks and I tell.